morning, good afternoon, wherever you're at, say hello. Spread love, spread positivity. Thank you for joining me on the weekly rant with Jimmy Conway. Yes, this is going to be a daily rant. Thank you, honey, for the coffee. I got little Selena here with me. You know, it's a beautiful day out. And it's even more of a beautiful day because you know why? My beautiful daughter said her first well, word today. How awesome is that? I want you to share something in the comments of something beautiful that happened to you today. We're going to be hooking this place up, by the way, like I promised you. This studio is really going to be transforming, and I'm, I'm just glad that uh, all of you are here to join me. Um, I know things are crazy right now and feeling uncertain, but uh, I just want to stress to you how important it is to remain positive, remain strong. Make sure you're uh, staying clean and staying vigilant. Okay. So how do you guys like your coffee? I let it a little bit of creamer, yeah. A little bit of sugar, yeah. By the way, my daughter loves the Macho Man voice that I do. What are your kids like? What, what you, you know? We were talking the other day on my Facebook about bath songs. Splish Splash and Ernie on there, and of course, you got the Yellow Submarine. Don't ever, people, ever, don't ever suggest Baby Shark to do for me again. Don't ever do it again. If, um, you can hear there's Mac Miller playing in the background right now. This is Circles. This album is amazing. If you haven't pressed play on this yet, you should go do that. Um, lots going on here. In the past, obviously, a couple of weeks, we're all stressed out. Let's talk about more positive topics. Um, that was the debut track uh, called Circles on the album, Circles from Mac, R.I.P., Sorry, we're going to be dealing with some ads here in the background. I'll mute them. But then you're going to be just left with me, guys. Just left with me ranting. Um, like I said, let's, let's keep it sort of positive here. In the past couple of weeks, we've been dealing with a lot of trauma and a lot of stress. But tell you what, uh, a lot of good music dropping here recently. Um. I love the ADHD album from Joyner. If you don't know who Joyner, Luca, Joyner Lucas is, uh, you've been living under a rock or something for the past couple of years. This guy's been killing the rap game, just putting out crazy mixtape after crazy mixtape, and he's finally dropped his debut album. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out, ADHD. It's phenomenal. I mean, not even not even just great beats and, and great lyrics, but um, hooks and such that really make you think. And uh, a lot of context on there, a lot of content. Speaking of content. Let's keep the music going. It's Monday afternoon. Outside it's cloudy, but I'd like that better. Let's have some fun on this podcast. Do I get this up on SoundCloud and everything? This is just going to be a Facebook thing. Maybe I'll start uploading these on YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, I just want to talk to my people. So how are you feeling today? What are you up to today? Um, how are you guys keeping busy during this shutdown? Are you working out? Are you writing? Um, are you an artist? Are you painting? Are you making graphics? What are you doing? Do you have a child? Um, did you just get married? And are you celebrating your honeymoon at home? What's good? What are y'all doing? Talk to me, you know? 
I mean, I know this isn't a live thing, so we can't really talk back and forth, but maybe I'll get a few of those going, too. Um, yeah. Weekly rant with Jimmy Conway. I guess it's only appropriate we do some ranting, huh? Let's start with you assholes that just won't stay inside, huh? It's not hard, yo. Uh, living here in the valley, you, you drive by a place like American Parkway, you see a bunch of these mooks out here playing basketball. Come on, guys. There's no nice way to put it. You're gumming up the works. Okay? Uh, pull your shit together. And uh, realize that the longer we all prolong this, the longer we're going to have to deal with this. The more we stay inside and just kind of cleanse ourselves and make ourselves pure, we'll be all right. This shit is so depressing for the past couple weeks. I don't even really want to touch on it. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, let's talk about kind of the things that it's affected, like the obvious, right? Like you're looking at what most of you know anyway as Jimmy Conway. And uh, sure, that's me to a degree, but you're mostly used to seeing me perform in the ring and or on the microphone and on stage. And that's all been taken away now. Um, and it's sad. But this is where we're at right now. This is what we got to deal with. This is, we got to attack this, guys. And if you're a gig guy or a gig gal and you are out of work right now, the best thing you can do is sharpen your axe. What you should be doing right now is creating content. What you should be doing right now, what I see a lot of my peers doing is working out. Your boy is hard at work on the dad bod, so I can't say I've been doing much working out. Um, a lot of working out here though and uh, I gotta tell you guys um, a lot of content coming your way not just the weekly rant excuse me <clears throat> not just the weekly rant but sharpening the graphics acts sharpening the videography acts as you see um, the content game around here is gonna get a little strong you're gonna either love it or you're either gonna hate it but um, we're adding a lot of elements here that are going to keep you guys tuned in, hopefully. Um, but myself, my brother Agony, we have a very, very dope mixtape coming your way. Twelve or so songs that are just out of this world. We, we worked real hard on that, and that's all in-home production. Um, not done at the studio we've been working on our official albums at. Um, shout out to Big City. Uh, I also saw you wasn't really feeling yourself today, so I want to give a big shout out and a big virtual hug to my man City. El Dudorino, love you, buddy. Keep your head up. You're a good man. Um, some don't see that, but that's okay. I do, and you know what? You got to go where the love is, people. Um, you know, but back to wrestling and everything, um, I know a lot of us are missing out on that. And before I saw my beautiful baby girl, Presley's face, I've never loved anything as much as I've loved wrestling. And it's recently getting to finally do a little bit of something, some extra work, anything, getting my foot in the door, getting my face on national television, um, on SmackDown and on Raw. Coming off of that, feeling like, you know, higher than I've ever been, us having the baby, and then, you know, a couple hot bookings, and then we were picking up some big bookings along the way, and we were going to, like 2020 was shaping up to be magnanimous for Luca and I and a lot of things in the works and then like you know you see your teams like the Flyers are doing really well and maybe they can win the cup this year and the Sixers kind of started falling apart a little bit but they have such an amazing team you know that they're built for the playoffs and that is being brought to an abrupt end 
so many things being brought to an abrupt end. Like I said, working on my debut album, Agony working on his debut album. Now we can't get out the city. Now we can't finish this as of right now. And it just puts a damper on everything. It really just, it's shaking the whole world to its core. And it's sad. It's a blue world. It's a blue world. That's the end of the coffee. Ma! The meatloaf! Let's see if she hears me. She's probably going to be really mad that I did that. Ma! <laughs> the meatloaf! That's my first official guest. My honey. Hold on one second. Bear with me. We're good. Let him in. Don't trip. Little music break. If you haven't play, pressed played on circles yet, you need to go ahead and do that. Some feel good music, some soul music. R.I.P. Mac Miller gone way too soon. What an incredible artist. He had a lot more. He had a lot more to offer. I know it. Um, with my hair, I know it's just got a lot more to offer right now. Your boy needs to shape up, and cut. What up, Josh? Platinum Shears. Please let this clear up so we can get back to work on the albums and we can get back to work on the music videos. And oh yes, our haircuts and our shape ups. You ladies ain't the only one out here. Like, all right. Anywho, as my ladies making me some more coffee, which I'm very grateful for. Um, let's get back to it, right? Like, um, past couple weeks have just been insane, insane. And, um, yeah, many of you may know, a lot of you probably don't, but my love and I, Kayla, we were in the middle of a huge move and with my lady working days and me working nights, I'm here during the day with the baby doing all these, this crazy move all by myself, baby in the one hand with Heisman and just over here doing boxes and doing this and that and it, it was crazy. And then luckily we moved into this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spot. And we're super happy. Let's see. I don't know how much we can really even like pan and see. But like all of this is bare right now. For now. But we are about to turn up and like this place is going to look crazy. Trust me. I'm going to get the microphone in there. Yeah. Um, and it was just insane. Moving and... Dealing with this, like, I can't imagine being stuck and confined. And Kayla was just talking to me about this. Like, I can't imagine us being quarantined and us stuck in that bullshit-ass little one-bedroom, grimy little spot. Like, we worked our butts off. The bill, the bill is a hefty one here. But you know what? We got everything we need. And everything's clean. And we were the first tenants to ever live here. I'm very, very proud of us. One of these days, I'll give you guys a tour, like a virtual tour here of the spot. It's pretty nifty. It was uh, advertised as a luxurious two-bedroom New York-style uh, loft, a two-bedroom apartment. And you know what? Luxurious it is. Um, and we did it right. We got brand new furniture. We threw out a lot of stuff, and it was a lot of work. Shout out to the brother Luca Brazzi for giving me a big hand during that time. Um, also, my sister Shaylin, love you. 
listen, if you don't, ha you know, if you don't have a sister, I feel sorry for you, especially an older sister, an older sibling. Uh, one of the best friends I ever had, and uh, the greatest sister I ever could have asked for. That's the truth. Um, Presley misses you, Aunt Shay Shay. She's a great aunt too, by the way. She's an amazing sister, but an even better aunt. And somehow I, I, I don't even know how she pulled that off because she was always like a mother figure to me growing up. Uh, her and I, Shay and I always dealt with a lot growing up. And uh, she always stuck by me and she was always there for me. And uh, she helped me out through a lot of tough times. And the move was no different. Uh, I mean, my sister even came out of the woodworks and was like, I don't know, she ordered like si something like 16 bins or something. Those big tin, uh, those big 16 gallon uh, gimmicks. And uh, they were huge. During the they were huge. Uh, but thank God the move is over because, you know, it was exhausting. I felt alone during a lot of it, but you know what? I gotta give a big, big, big shout out to my lady who, up until the other day, was braving it and um, doing God's work, honestly. And she's in the hospital field and she just got temporarily laid off. I was like laid off from all my paper jobs, all the phantoms work and this and that. I was like laid off immediately. Um, and then with the, with the wrestling bookings and everything going down, it's been, um, it's been tasking and it's been tough, but you know what? You got to stay strong guys. I mean, number one, money ain't real it's bullshit, but we still have to pay our bills and all. So this is why you see me active online. This is why you see me asking for your support, whether it be, uh, the music on Spotify already or the music that's to come. Um, press play on, on a video or two guys, please. Um, you won't be disappointed boy Travis, Travis Eisenhart, photo and video. I mean, this guy is top notch and he's affordable and he's personable. He's a good friend of mine. And besides that, he's an incredible artist. And if you press play on one of these videos that I got out right now, my brother Agony, he dropped his debut out, uh, debut video. Um, and your boy may or may not be featured on it. It's uh, called Almost There. It's on YouTube. It's on Facebook here. And of course, the track is on SoundCloud. Um, if you press play on any of this stuff, you guys ain't going to be disappointed, all right? The YLF is dropping quality, quality, quality gems right now. We got a lot of music coming uh, in the form, like I mentioned before, a mixtape where Agony and I have busted our asses at home and uh, really learning about mixing and learning about mastering. And just trying to give y'all a good product um, from home uh, to warm up for the commercial project. And the commercial project is going to be bananas, guys. Both of us. I can't lie to you. Um, my project I'm very proud about. It's full length. <clears throat> and City really did his thing on them beats. And I'm very excited. I'm beyond. Oh, oh, thanks, I love you. Shay, there's only waiting, there's a whole lot there for me waiting. Guys. Get you a gal who loves scrambled eggs like you do and loves to make them for you. I'm not going to be a dick and uh, eat on camera here. Maybe I'll check in back with you guys later on. Um, I just wanted to reach out, be consistent here, uh, show my face. Try and spread some positive, uh, some positivity and some love and some good thoughts. I know now is a crazy time for everybody. Um, so maybe if I could just be of, of help in any form, any fashion, that's what I love to do. And um, I just want people to uh, prosper and I want people to progress. And uh, 
that's what I'm here for. So hopefully that is the message that I am conveying to you. Be yourself, love yourself, love yours. Nothing more important than family at this, than, at this time, guys, nothing. So um, I'd like to debut album is going to tell you, and like you've been seeing me say for about a year now, guys, family over everything. Don't forget that, okay? I'm going to enjoy these eggy wags. Um, I'll definitely check in back with you guys here soon. I got to get organized and get some bullet points and then get to talking with y'all. You dig it? So um, enjoy your eggs or whatever it is you're chomping on this morning or afternoon. And uh, bump some good music today. Some good feel good. Some good vibes. And I can explain spread love. I guess. Nothing can better than feeling, I'm feeling amazing. Now I'm switching location. Cause heaven too far when you live in the basement. See you guys soon. This has been a weekly rant with Jimmy Conley. Well, go fuck yourself.